Good morning, and it really is old timey action right now. We've got old timey music playing, and cars just kind of coming down the way here. Even people dressed in theme attire right now. We do have Ryan Johnson. He's a proud owner of this beautiful Ford here. You're one of the exhibitors. This has been your third year coming out to this car show. Tell me, what makes this one special? All uh, those cars. There's not a Camaro or Mustang. Yep, that's true. To be seen. Yeah, we're not going to find any of your typical hot rods out here. These are all really authentic old cars. You have to keep them in the same style paint as they were when they were original. Right. So tell me about your vehicle. What's a, what makes this one special too? Well, my dad bought it in 1975. Me and him did it back then. Then after he passed away, I had it redone. We had it redone. So we put a lot of love and work into this. Now this car show is pretty neat because you'll see lots of vehicles like this, and a lot of them look just as gorgeous and, and pristine like your vehicle. Um, what else? you see some cars maybe you won't see anywhere else, even in the world. Right, cars you've never even heard of before. You'll probably see here. Yeah. Now you aren't dressed in, in theme attire and, and classic period gear. How come? I don't know. Just don't have anything <laughs> like that. It's pretty neat, though, experience out here. Do you recommend families coming oh, out? Yeah. Do you have a lot of people asking you about your car, about where you yeah, got the story? Yeah. A lot of people ask about it. And... Yeah. Well, very cool. Thanks, Ryan. We appreciate you sharing your beautiful car with us. And if you want to see cars like this one and lots more, there's a 900 cars out here for the festival. And it gets started in just about a half an hour here at the Greenfield Village. Live in Greenfield Bri Village, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.